in the book of Revelation, chapter 6. And I want to begin reading here in verse 9. And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? Did you ever get there? Well, if you have ever questioned the Lord's timing and judgment, you're not alone. The saints in the time of Jacob's trouble there, the martyred saints, they're there before the throne and they're saying to the Lord, how much longer? I don't understand. And Lord, we didn't read the verse, but you can continue on there in Revelation chapter 6 and it talks about that uh, the Lord basically says, you know, here's a white robe and just wait because there's more martyrs that have to die. Uh, basically what he says. And you think to yourself, Lord, uh, America's gone pretty far. Um, all the aborted babies, the hundreds of millions, you know, if you factor in abortifactants and birth control and everything else that people have done to kill off uh, unwanted babies. Um, and then you actually have the different types of abortion. Now they're trying to pass it that, you know, the baby's basically born coming out at nine months and you can kill them then and, you know, all this other stuff. You know, I don't keep up with a lot of that. You know, because it just makes me so angry. But you see that, you see the perversion, you see the theft, you see the corrupt government, you see all this stuff, and you're saying, Lord, how long? How long before you start to judge this stuff, Lord? I don't get it. Um, it's a frustration that we all have. And uh, you don't leave the Lord or anything. You don't say, well, you know, I, don't, I can't believe in a God that wouldn't judge this stuff. I believe in God. I come out here and I see His uh, handiwork. I see what he has created. It's amazing out here. You know, we call this the healing woods. I might have said that in another study, but uh, why? Well, because of balsam fir trees. And um, there's actually a passage of scripture uh, where lo the Lord is actually likened to a green fir tree. If you know where that verse of scripture is at, put it in the comments section down below uh, for others to see. <clears throat> and... Um, in particular interest there you know you have the christmas time of the year and a lot of people some people celebrate it some people don't that's perfectly in line with scripture you can or you can't or you don't have to or whatever it's not required getting a little bit of uh birch bark off the tree here if you don't know birch bark is a uh, really good for starting your wood stove much better than paper or things like that so i have to get my birch bark um but, uh, you know, if you don't understand the Christmas issue, uh, please do watch my videos on that. It's an issue of liberty. Um, I've studied that whole debate back and forth over the years. I know it very well. Um, nobody's going to come along and say, oh, you don't know certain things. Yeah, yes, I do. Um, <laughs> I've studied it. I put out studies on it. And uh, so I'll put the links to the studies down in the comment section below, description box, whatever else. Um, completely an issue of liberty. You can take out pagan aspects and you, you can say, well, you know, I love the green fir tree and and whatever. Okay. And, uh, well, the tree, Christmas trees, you know, uh, has been exposed as a pagan thing back in the book of, of uh, you know, Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 10 it exposes Christmas trees. No, actually, it can, exposes carved idols that are covered in gold and silver. Okay, a lot of these anti-Christmas people have no problem lying and saying it's a Christmas tree. It's not a Christmas tree. Okay, uh, decking something with gold and silver is your King James Bible way of saying covering it. Gilded. It is not, you know, that they're decking a tree, a Christmas tree with, uh, you know, gold and silver tinsel from Walmart or something. Okay, uh, check into the study if you want to. The point of this video here though is the thing of god delaying judgment why does god delay judgment because god is long suffering and merciful and if god is going to burn people forever in eternity he's going to give them as many chances as possible before he does that because god is a loving and just god no one that went to hell was innocent there's not one person out there that ended up in hell 
and they get there and the Lord's and they say, God, I never knew. I didn't understand it. God said, oh, yeah, I guess you didn't. Oh, man, I'm sorry. You know, boy, I, I feel kind of stupid now. Uh, yeah, you really don't deserve to be here, but uh, rules are rules, you know. I, I'm sorry. No, never happened. God never would do that. Uh, that's why God holds off his judgment a lot longer than we think he should many times. Um, and so remember that as we go forward, brethren. Uh, remember God's long-suffering nature. And uh, if you're lost out there and you say, well, I'm not a Christian, but I'm trying to understand it. Well, good. I'm glad that you are. I'm gl good that you're, it's good that you have an open mind and that you're saying to yourself, you know, I'd like to know. I want to know for sure. I want to make sure I get the right, you know, beliefs and whatever else. I don't want to just rush into this thing and end up, you know, getting involved in some kind of weird cult or something where I have to give my wife to the cult leader and he has to raise up seed to her or something like with uh, David Koresh and the Branch Davidians, literally what they believed, uh, because David Koresh had a special vision from the Lord. And if they had just read their Bible, King James Bible, and believed what they were reading, uh, they would have seen that David Koresh was a pervert and that they shouldn't have followed that pervert. So, the judgment is coming, brethren. Uh, I get a little bit frustrated sometimes because I know that the judgment should be here already. And I am saying, like the souls under the altar, I'm saying, Lord, how long dost thou not judge? How long, Lord? How long do we have to wait for this? You know, it's coming. It will happen. So I just wanted to do a real quick video just to encourage you to stand for the truth. No matter what, God's judgment is coming. It will happen. All right. Stand by the book, brethren. No matter what. I have to get this back to the our little tiny house. And uh, see you in upcoming videos. As always, thank you for watching.